Hey guys, what if here, and welcome to World of Outlaws Sprint Cars 2002 or 2002 World of Outlaws Sprint Cars. But I don't know, but we're gonna be doing career mode today, and it's a game I've had for a long time, and actually I kind of grew up playing it a little bit. So it's um, I'm I'm looking forward to playing it. I was just playing it recently to. Just get a feel for the game again because it's been so long. It's really fun. And I was looking through some stuff online and couldn't really see too much of like like the career mode. I've never really seen anybody like complete. I see some people like start it, but they never like finish it. So I don't know, I guess I'll be the first. I don't know. I'll 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 do it. Yeah, the game's really fun. So I'm going up and down a lot because the, the the demo comes up very quickly. So if you're like on the screen for like 20 seconds, it'll automatically go right to a to a demo. So we're just gonna jump right into it. There's no like difficulty setting or anything like that. I was checking off camera. There's really nothing like that. So we're gonna load our data. Out. Joey Jojo is a name that was there before I had this game in the memory card. Was, so I don't know, but I'm just going to leave that there. But yeah, so we're going to enter a name. It's going to be pretty generic. It's just going to be... It's just going to be Brian Robin, because Nico Robin, I have to, I have to incorporate that name somewhere, somehow, into the vocabulary of my channel. So there's the lore behind that. If it can even fit, um, can it even allow? Yeah, it allows a space. I'll just finish putting these in because it seems like it's gonna take a while to get to that point. Wow, that's disappointing. So I came and put in the full name. Well, that's a uh, Brian Rob Roby. Really? Um. Like, drivers have their first and last names in the game. Why can't I have my last name in there? What What is this? So if I don't have a space here, it's just gonna... You know what? We're gonna change it. We're gonna change it. We're gonna... I'm... Dang. Damn, I just... Well, I guess that's kind of what I wanted to do anyways. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna put in her her full name because it I think it's short enough and it should fit. Ew! What is with that? Why is there? That's not a like. That's just how the game. There's like a weird space. I don't under. Is this game gonna? Is this game giving me bad signs that something bad's gonna happen in this career mode? Because what what is that? What it like? Why is there such an awkward space? We're keeping it in. I, pff, not my problem. But that's just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just perplexed. There's no other word. It's just, it is. Why is it so awkwardly? I'm just. Oh, my OCD is really kicking in. Why again? Is there? An, why does the I make it so weird? I'm. I'm. I'm very confused. <laughs> We haven't got through the freaking menu, and I'm already puzzled. I don't get it. It wasn't like that with my name, like Brian. Like it didn't, it didn't do that. Why does the I hog up so much space? I'm. I don't know. I. You know what? We're just gonna keep it there. I'm gonna put in 87 because, actually, knew someone that was a local sprint car driver. Uh and he ran the number 87 put it up on screen post there or what if because this is important context matters boom there it is pretty freaking cool he badass he's a legend and we're gonna honor him by running 87 because that's what i always remember the 87 for not for joe nemechek i always think of 87 as him so it's not, it's for him so we're gonna accept that save our settings and just like that, we're in the main menu, we're throwing in everything. We're not going to do the career tutorial because 
I can't just sit here and not talk for like five minutes or even ten minutes as a guy goes through everything because he actually goes through everything in very meticulous detail. So prop to the game on that. So, yeah, the first thing we got to do is obviously buy a sprint car because we can't go do anything if we don't have a sprint car of some capacity. So there's four different series. And the sprint cars is just one thing. Like, there's no different... There's no like 305s or different ones like that. It's just just one thing. Um, so there's I think six in the game to buy, to my knowledge. And we're gonna go and spend a little more, just get a bit more of the uh, speed and power. So we're gonna spend ten thousand on that. Now the car skin, it seems like you can only do it once, and then you're set throughout the rest of uh, that car's life. So whatever skin we end up going with is just kind of what we're going to have to deal with. So, um, off camera, I think I went with the, uh, it, was, it started with an S. Smoothie. Yeah, that, I like that. It's simple. Sleek. I like it. Do I like smoothies? I don't even know if I want to talk about that, because I really don't want to get canceled for hating foods that most people like. But yeah, I'm going to accept that. That's that's gonna be ten thousand dollars down the drain, but it'll be a good start for our local car because there's four series: there's local, regional, World of Outlaws support series, and World of Outlaws in general. So four different series. Now we got two thousand dollars left. Now the upgrades, at least for these cars, I maybe there's other ones uh, higher up the road that are gonna be a bit more like uh, more upgradey. But the first big thing I'm going to put in this thing is the weight reduction. We need that thing to be as light as possible. And we are going to first do that. So that's $1,000. Do that. Uh, the engine. Max is uh, 800 4500 Obviously, we aren't, we aren't there yet. And I do want to eventually max all this stuff out except for maybe the brakes. Because we really don't need to use those. So I'm going to kind of ignore the brakes. But the weight and engine, I'm going to be focusing on most. Because the handling, I can kind of get by with just how it is on default. So That's what I'm going to go with. So we're going to purchase all that. It's just, it's just one thing, but yeah. So the weight reduction now will help. Any bit will help with the car. Now with all that said, I mean, we could just jump straight into our first ever race. And... Yeah, so actually, I, I, should go, I should first go to the calendar and then pick the races about, that I'll run because it's all kind of just, uh, it just really, I can only do so much because I don't have enough money. I have to get to a certain amount of money before I, I can go to, um, like, other events. Um, I think I might show it in this here. Yeah, instructions. So, you must use this diary in races in career mode. Select the ones you want to race and cancel. You can only enter one event per week. Paper clip indicates the current event. Uh, assessing tracks. So this is the amount of money you need to have for like regional, 5,000. Ah, Jesus Christ. Locals, 5,000. Regionals, 25,000. World of Outlaws support series is 50,000. And the actual World of Outlaws series is 75,000. So once you get to those like milestones, then those other series will begin to open and you're available to race them. So yeah, for now, I mean, all we'll just do is pick local. And from what I tested off camera, there is apparently eight in the season. Obviously, I can't go to this event because I, I, I can't afford to travel. So I think that's a an interesting thing. I can do regional, but I really won't be competitive. And I'd rather just focus on local. But I guess because, you know, this is our, kind of our first season to kind of get our feet wet. We're not really going for points. We're just more or less trying to just, you know. Get everything we need. Um, I guess that's what we'll try to do. So, yeah, we got regional there, and then we got local again. We only have maybe eight local events, if I remember correctly. Can't really do that. Uh, let's see. Got world battle support. Can't do that. Jeez, there's a lot of local ones I can't do. <laughs> we got regional again. There's, so there's 32 weeks, and we are almost there. I don't know how many. Uh, sprint car races like the World of Outlaws series had in 2002 when this game was made and released they had 20 in the, in, the, in the season so I don't think it's 20 maybe it's more I'm not positive 
but yeah. So we got regional, and we got local. So I think there's only eight local. I think there's 13 regional, so if we do like, obviously excluding this part, if we get through all of this, um, we could probably get through like three or maybe four races in an episode, depending on how things go. I think it's gonna be pretty juicily action-packed for quite a while. So, I don't gotta worry about that, but for now, we're just gonna jump into our first race. Try not to suck. And it's gonna be at Lernerville, so... Yeah, we'll just, you know, dive into it. I'm gonna do some practice laps, because I haven't been here in, like... I did my testing yesterday, so... Since yesterday. It's a long intro. Is this considered an intro? I don't know, but it, it it's long. It breaks my, my intro clause, so... But this is the first part, so I usually kind of give that a leeway because there's so much brain matter to, to pro the process. So I'll catch you all in qualifying. So with this, we have three laps, which is good because the first lap is kind of an out lap. That's just kind of a, a waste of lap. So yeah, as far as the handling's concerned, I mean, it's not great. I could definitely feel it's a bit underpowered, but otherwise it's, you know, it, it handling wise, it's really freaking good. It's insane how good it is. In practice, I was able to get like a 14-6. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that in qualifying here. I always just crack under pressure. So that's going to be you know, slightly better than the first lap. I don't think it's a last. I can't imagine it's going to be last. As long as it's not that, I think we'll be okay. And it's going to blip. Damn. <laughs> Damn, third. Like I said, the game doesn't have a difficulty slider or anything, so... I'm just going to assume, like, the higher up you go, the difficulty gets harder. I mean, the difference between, like, the local difficulty and the regional, there definitely was, like, a difference. So I imagine as you go up, it's just going to get harder, which makes sense. We do got a heat race. And if we finish in the top six, then we'll move on to the A main, which, based on qualifying, I think we're going to be pretty good for that. But, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But, yeah, um... Something I do want to note is that this game was uh, made by Ratbag Studios, which are primarily known for PC games. And this was their, I believe at the time, first console game that they made. Wow, that is a lot of dirt. We're going to have to use one of our tear-offs right out of the bat. Luckily, this is only five laps because that, yeah. But yeah, that, uh, that guy just drove right by me like I was standing still. Like, damn. I can't wait to get that engine upgrade, though, because it's just... It's gross. It just... I can just definitely feel the power lacking. Like, we should be at least being able to go well over 70. We're not quite there, so that couple extra miles an hour and the handling, I can definitely feel it being off. But yeah, it's just... It drives so freaking good, which makes sense because they were making, like, PC dirt racing games, you know, for years before they dipped into the console stuff, and... They've been really known to make, you know, Dirt Track Racing 1 and 2, and those were, like, really, you know, well-received. And this one was, you know, really well-received, too, so. It's a shame that the company kind of uh, went under in, like, 2005, and their last game was Dukes of Hazard, which is very out of left field for what the games that they usually kind of made, so I, I don't know. But we'll get second. I mean, that was a pretty chill little event there. We do got, like, repairing stuff, like, not after every race, but if you do get damage, you have to repair the cost and stuff, which is you know, pretty good. I mean, career mode's a little simple, but it's, I mean, pretty damn good. I mean, I kind of forget that um, this game came out in early 2002. Okay, the name actually looks normal there. Okay, that's, that's good. That makes me feel a lot better. I don't know why we're making Nico Robin, like, a dirt racing legend, but, I mean, why the hell not? And that Carl person that you saw there, he's really fast from what I did, tested off camera. He's always, like, running well. So the fact we got second to him is not really a shock. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's just, I really, this game's just a lot of fun. I was just playing it you know, yesterday, and it's just, I was having a blast. I was playing it, like, all night, and it took me back to when I was in my youth playing this. AI here, especially on the starts, you can kind of get away with a little bit of stuff. Sometimes they kind of go off the track, not off the track, but they definitely go wider. They do something. 
and lap traffic becomes a factor. Luckily, we haven't seen any crazy stuff yet. It's actually been really tame. But the dash usually consists of all the fast people in the field. And that Carl person that won that previous heat is nowhere to be found. So I don't know where he went to, but we're second, so we might start second in the actual thing. Unless I, you know, completely royally screw up that corner and I just leave myself wide open for attack. But it's just... It's crazy because you can use really any groove you want to be fast. You can use the high lane if you want. You can use the bottom. It's just... You can make it work. The One of the weird things with the SRX games... The SRX game is... There's the... Oh, hello! <laughs> there's like this rut that you hit. If you hit it just right, it'll just grip and you'll get a lot of speed. And it's just... It's really hard to hit, but in this game you can do that really easily. Somehow we'll get second. I, I, I honestly can't believe we even got that point. I, I had a stroke trying to say that. But I guess that's what happens when I practice too much. I shouldn't have tryharded. But, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's looking good. It's a shame we can't be, like, a full-time competitor. Oh, never mind. Try Hard Carl was in the, in the thing, so... Okay. I mean, if we can get out of this with a good finish... I'm going to be really happy. It'd be a great, you know, good money day, even though we don't got sponsors, which sponsors is another element of this game. So, I don't know. I'm like, I like to think we can, we can do something in this, this main. But yeah, here we go. In our 87 smoothie car, we're actually starting second. So, they, yeah, dash. Okay. But here we go. And the leader actually got through the corner pretty reasonably. Actually, clear them. Get, get rid of the tear offs. Ooh, little contact. All right, we'll lead our first lap and all right in our first start, a main start thing. They are all over me though. I can't imagine I'm gonna hang on to the lead, but I'm gonna try. I mean, the only thing I can do is just hold the bottom. I mean, even though I didn't do that, so I actually have some kind of lead. I'm 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 shocked. <laughs> I'm really shocked. Did, was my practice too hardcore? Oh, sweet Jesus, there's a wreck. There is some death. <laughs> there was death. There's a freaking wing. <laughs> Just I'm laying on the track. How is that? There are cautions in this game. If it gets, like, a wreck is bad enough, there will be a yellow. But apparently that wasn't a yellow. There's more. There's more crashing. <laughs> what is that? What is going on? I don't even know. Uh, we actually kind of have a lead, and I'm really confused by that. That might help me, though. We only got under a second lead, so we don't got too much of a buffer. Lap traffic is going to be a big pain in the ass, as you saw right there. We had half the field, like, explode, so... <laughs> we kind of got lucky there. But that's the kind of crazy shit I was talking about. Sometimes you kind of get into those... At some points in the in the race, where there's just you know random shit like that. Oh, that's a position. That is a position. I know that guy. Not not, not literally, but like I know he's fast, and I just damn it, I couldn't even hold him off. He's just too fast. Maybe lap traffic and bone him because that can happen. That's the only thing we can hope for. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's absolutely destroying him. Oh, and now it's in my way. Oh, that guy. Oh, God. A little, little ping-pong. He never hurt anyone. That was... That's oh, God. That was... That was not optimal. Well, he got through the lap traffic okay enough, so he might start to pull away. Damn. Imagine if we had that... Like, if we had that engine upgrade, we'd probably win this race. I didn't think we'd be in this position, but... We're actually doing pretty damn good. Oh, more lap traffic getting in his way. Eh, it's not, not enough. Like I said, you can't make the outside line work. It's obviously, I don't really have the speed nor the handling to really kind of make that work. But he just went, he did something in that corner. Eh, try to slide job. It's hard to tell because I don't have a mirror. That's annoying. Oh, lap traffic just, no, didn't really bone him, but it tried. And he got to my inside. 
Well, I can maybe try to make the high lane work. If I just had more horsepower, I could just get off that corner and do things and... Damn it. I, I tried. It's... Unless lap traffic really, really screws them up in turn three, I don't think we have a shot. We're gonna go through the last corner. Oh, lap traffic trying. Oh, it's trying. Oh, it did! Yes! Yes! <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? First career win, first start! I don't understand how that made any sense at all. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, lap traffic saved the day. What the hell is... Oh, the replay system is kind of hard to, to manage. I can't really, like, adjust anything. I can only just kind of look. So I got to figure out what on earth happened in that, 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 like, first or second lap. Because I don't know why there was a... I need to understand the context of why there was a crash. It looks like I have to start from the beginning, so. Do I quit and then. Will that. Will that exit me out of the, the race? Or do I only got one shot to. I only get one shot. I only get one shot, one opportunity to look at the thing. But hey, we won $1,500, so that's good. I, <laughs> we got extremely lucky. Chris Brown's in this race. What? Um, yeah, I'm I'm baffled how that that worked. Yeah, we'll save our progress, sure. <laughs> wow, uh, we got new sponsors, so yeah, we'll absolutely look at that. And we got this for Zora, uh, Zor, Zo Racing, Zora Acing. What? I'm what? I like Zora is like highlighted, but then the, the C I N G isn't. So it's Zora Singh. What? I'm I'm ups I'm already angry about that, but we gotta accept it because that's our best offer, and it's for two races. And is it really? Yeah, it's our only offer. So we gotta accept it. We got that on the car now. We'll exit. So, hey, we got some big time money, and now we are only somewhat there to getting to another upgrade. But that's uh, shockingly our first win. We're going to look at the office here because, you know, this is kind of like what, I guess that little, you know, where that, you know, that circle, that R1 circle. So. Yeah, that's within our, uh, I guess, my range. So that's cool. But obviously, we're not going full time in the local series because we, we quite literally can't afford to do it. But uh, other than that, I mean, that went, that went pretty well. I know it's kind of an introductory kind of part, but I mean, I mean that went pretty solidly. 2,500 in savings and that much closer to getting in that, uh, that upgrade. I still need to get used to going through the menus and there's so much loading and, and stuff, so it's probably going to take a while. Not a while, but after a while it gets tiring to kind of click one thing and there's a loading screen. It's... That's annoying. But the upgrade for that is 4,500. We're already halfway there, so. I'm I'm really confused how I'm even, how I even won. So I, <laughs> I, I don't know. The game has been like no difficulty slider or anything. It just, I guess this is how it is earlier on. I don't, I don't know. I guess I practiced too hardcore. I guess for now we'll wrap up the part and uh, go from there. I don't know how much uh, material I have, but I guess we'll, I guess I'll, I guess I'll figure it out and we'll kind of see how much I can record in a time to get my, my time zone thingy jig and how I format my statements. Okay, we're gonna get going. Big shout out my two or three Patreon supporters the Down Reynolds, Comic House of Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave on our channel 15, NASCAR, Mercedes.org, Billy Gear, Golf Game 100, Emilio Bebster, Mexican League 1986, Mark Harmon, and Hackbar Fan 5556. For support again, I very much appreciate everything you guys do and everything for the channel. It does truly, truly mean a lot and does go a long way. So thank you as always for what you do. It's just, it's, it's freaking awesome. So I really appreciate it. That'll do it for me in this episode. The next one, I don't know what week it'll be on. I guess I can just check the, the thing here and, and kind of see for myself. 
but there's only eight races for the local series and at 12 or 13 like i said for like regional so our next race won't be until uh won't be till jeez uh what i guess week eight now williams grow for regional so we're gonna get our gonna probably get our asses kicked on that one so that's not good um yeah i don't know no. <laughs> i guess that'll do it for me so uh yeah i will see you all next episode i'll see you all later as always have a good day everyone